Everybody would love to live their good life, but not only that, they would love to motivate and also inspire others. Pero hindi yon naging madale para sa kanila, kaya alamin natin kung paano sila naging matagumpay at tangat sa iba. And while we join these people on their journey, we will be taking you to different places, dine with you, and show you how to live a healthy life. Dito lang sa How to Be You. Brother. Yes, brother. Is it possible you can drop us in Makati? Oh, no man. Lang? You're the man. Mm -hmm. You're the man. We're not picking up anybody else, right? Oh, yeah, that's it, right? No, yeah. no. You're gonna do. You're <laughs> gonna do your own thing. Yeah. A little bit of soul searching. Yeah. Inside this beautiful Jeep from Euro United Auto File. So nice. yeah, a little bit of testing. testing Thanks to them. Uh, hooking it up every week, no? Every week, man. Got a yeah, lot of nice. journey, no? Iba ibang Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you enjoy the ride. Let's Just go to ahead. Makati. I hope there's no traffic. Tell us what we're doing here today. Nandito tayo ngayon kasi mag inquire tayo para sa mga kids. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So we have a special guest? Yes. Alright. Hello, good morning. Hi. Hi, Andy. Hello, Hi, Miss Diana. Welcome to John Robert Powers. Wow. Oh, nandito tayo sa John Robert Powers. <laughs> yes. I'm oh, happy to welcome you both. Yes, you're, you were saying a while ago, you're... Uh, Miss Mildred, kasi meron kaming dalawang anak. Isang babae at saka isang lalaki. Okay. So parang gusto namin mag-inquire ni Andy. Uh, pwede ba namin silang i-enroll dito? Of course! Okay, so you went to the right place and I'm happy you're here today. So, I'd like to talk a little about John Robert Powers. Your kids are ages? Uh, nine, yung boy, and then mm -hmm. two, yung little girl. Alright, so we basically help our students, our clients, achieve their best selves. I'm sure parents like you would be very happy to, yeah. to see your kids uh, doing and growing really um, very, very wholesome, holistic yes. in every way. Because yeah, right now, we are really not in the direction of just being good in school. But of course, they also have to develop a lot of other skills. So this will be developing their personality for maybe future work? Exactly, because we want to empower our students and uh, John Robert Powers actually works on four pillars. We always say that it starts with a lot of personal growth, that you have to be yes. a whole person to begin with. Mm -hmm. You have to have a very positive self-concept, you know, accepting ourselves like who we are and a lot of confidence building and believability like you are in the in this business. We also offer image enhancement. So that's um, that's basically what what we do, what we are known for. We do we do trainings for pageants, etc. We do programs for people in show business like yep. like the two. Ah, so marami din kayong mga client na Madame, coming kapuso. Oh, wait, I heard I heard maraming mga um, artistas na nagsimula dito muna mag-training. Exactly. Yung mga hosts, maraming dito nagsimula. A lot of your kapuso nagsimula. artists took um, courses with us, um, especially when they were starting. Yes. Uh, okay, and we give them a lot of training on this. Of course, image has to do with visual poise mm -hmm. and looking good, but you know, we don't zero into just looking good. Okay, yeah. there has to be Absolutely. always there has yes. to be the inner... <laughs> takeaway. Yeah. Yes, the takeaway. So that's where the third pillar comes in, and yep. that is the pillar of um, communication, effective communication. So we, we have to be sound, etc. We have to have that kind of vocal quality. That is naman really. Ayun po ba yung parang nirecord nila yung voice mo and then mm. next pass of mo, uh, papakinggan mo. Uh, 
Ah, my good today. Tama ba yung... Tama naman, di ba? Oh, tsaka kasi syempre, you want your your kids, I'm sure, you want your girls, uh, your girl and your boy, your your children, to be not just a person with a handsome and pretty face like their of mom course. and dad, but of course, you want them to be a person I would like of, them to be handsome and pretty. But. Of course, but still and all, <laughs> we want them. That yes, that's, yes, that should be just a bonus, mm -hmm. but basically more a person of substance and sense, yes. diba? And bottom line, if you are self-aware in the first pillar of personal growth, we want you to also be other aware and that's where social graciousness will come Oy, in. Gusto ko yan. I haven't heard that before, social graciousness. Parang so, kailangan ko yun <laughs> Social graciousness. Well, for, for people like us, for the not-so-millennials, of course, we work on social and business etiquette. But with the kids, even even dining etiquette, like yeah. we have guests oh. at home, etc. I'm sure you welcome a lot of guests at home. Yep. Tapos, syempre, your kids naman are really not exposed in the kind of world that you are, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, parang sometimes, the kids being shy mm -hmm. can sometimes be translated to ang susuplada or ang yes. susuplado pala yeah. na pwede, pwede nyo. Oh. But really not, di ba? Because you you teach the kids that, ah, this is technically your world. Mom and dad are in show mm -hmm. business. So, we've got to always have that kind of social skills that we normally expect from people. And so with that, we even we even extended our programs to accommodate other things, other programs like English. Yeah. We have English. Uh, I'm, I'm quite good at English. Yes, I'm not. So they say. All right. But but good news, Andy, for you. We we recently also introduced Japanese. No, <laughs> conversational <laughs> Filipino. How do you like to really Filipino. be more comfortable? Parang coffee. bagay sa amin dito, you know? Yeah. Kasi mm -hmm. magbabalanse ko. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's very yes. true. Yes. Ako kailangan yan. Rola naman yung mga anak namin dito. And assessment is free. <laughs> assessment is free. Ah, we have nice. to do assessment before we can recommend the program of for course. your kids. Yes. Uh, Miss Mildred, excited na yung mga nanonood sa atin. Kung saan ba pwedeng mag-enroll? Um, of course, kids. we have branches here in well, Makati. You are you are now in our Makati school, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, uh, Manila is the flagship school of John Robert Powers, okay. but we have presences in eleven other Asian, Asia Pacific regions. Oh wow! So yes, this Asian is countries. not just a Philippine. No, wow. yes, because this actually started in the U.S. by Mr. Powers himself ah, okay. in the 1920s. Yes, that's oh, the wow. history. So this is, yes, so, so this is our present. Okay, yes, that's why even if there are a lot of other personality development centers uh, in the market now, mm -hmm. we would always boast about us being the pioneer. Yeah, in and this it, industry. the longevity. Obviously shows that you know there's True. something in this sikat company. Sikat na sikat ang John Robert Powers, especially sa mga artistas. Yes. But I think it's not even just about being sikat. Mm -mm. But I think uh, because, because of the result. Also. Yes, because of the result, and we are really more after that, the bringing out the best the in best, every person yes. and yeah. achieving the best, the better best self. All right, and can we give our audience some tips? Just maybe not something they can do at home, but something they can do within themselves to become more confident. What would be your top tips? All right, because how to be you, right? Yes. So how to be you, how to be John Robert Powers is okay. basically being yourself, creating a personal style that is distinctly you, but only a better version of you. I guess that's how I'd like to summarize everything. Oh, thank you. Ang, ang ganda po ng mga sinabi ninyo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Ayan, mga kapuso, marami tayong natutunan today. Mga mommies and daddies, alam nyo na po kung saan natin dapat i-enroll ang ating mga kids. Kaya magbabalik pa po ang How to Be You! I'm at Anytime Fitness Ethan, and if you thought I was strong, check out these ladies. <laughs> All right, introduce yourselves. Hello, my name is Carla. Hi, I'm Lexi. I'm Kimmy, and, and we're, we're FlexFit. Wow, so girls, <laughs> tell me, what does it take to be a strong woman? I think it depends on the person, right? It has, we have all different mindsets and I think what is important for each woman is that they need to know that they are enough in everything that they do and they're strong in anything that they do. But for us, we believe that strength, there is strength in numbers. So as an individual, we are everything but 
together we are everything and more. Yes, and they're gonna be stronger than me. <laughs> that is completely no doubt. All right, so I hear you're the nutritionist in the yes. group. All right, so tell us a little bit about that. Um, for me, the man, we promote right nutrition when it comes to fitness. Because, you know, a lot of people start going to the gym, but they don't have the proper nutrition. That's so correct. what we wanted to promote here is the holistic approach with fitness. So it doesn't really matter if you go to the gym 24-7. What's important is you take the right food yeah. for to, to really um, power your workout. So yun yung gusto namin promote Dito as Flex Sisters, because we believe that strength doesn't just come physically, but most emotionally, importantly, emotionally, and of course, with your diet. Health, spiritually, yeah. and so, everything. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that it's 80% diet, yes, 20% 20 fitness. Work. Definitely. So, how do we get these abs? Tell the ladies, <laughs> the other ladies that want to become strong. I think, para sa amin, um, support talaga. Yeah. Yung, Number one, because um, lahat ng mga girls, meron talaga kami mga times na we will feel weak yes. or we can't do it. So para sa men, nakaka push through kami with our discipline and eating, because we remind each other that yes, this is better true. for you. Yeah. Or um, kaya, parang mas kaya namin mag push through, through the workout because we have fancy. You can do it. Yes. You're stronger than this, That's and true. it really helps na parang. Um, you have the support system for yeah. accountability. Yes, yes because, that's true, right? Um, what we want to promote is that beauty doesn't come physically only, it comes with inside, and then you don't need abs to be sexy. Yeah. That's just a bonus, but, but it's a bonus. But, but yeah. You have abs. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're sharing our advocacy. That's also because yeah. we're consistent. Yes. Yes. yes that's and that's a, a big key in fitness is consistency. consistency. Yeah. All right, so you girls are going to take me through a workout. Um, I think I'm gonna struggle, but um, <laughs> power through. What are we gonna do today? We're so, gonna cheer for each other, first of all. We're gonna have gonna five start. exercises. So I'll be doing the borrower squat to plank jack push up and the reverse pommel jumps. Lexi's gonna do. I'm gonna do a bow and arrow on the knees. So it's gonna be a whole core, arms, and even booty workout. Multiple muscle groups. Yes. And, and I'm gonna do it with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe share some tips when it comes to nutrition. All right, that sounds great. All right, let's get it. So we prepared five exercises that you will be doing 20 reps for four rounds. First one is the borrower squats to plank jack push up. So basically you go down to your low squat and then you open it, close your legs and then you go down to your push up position and then you do a plank jack with a push up. That's four movements in one exercise. Next up is your reverse pommel jump. So that's your reverse plank with toe tap side to side, lifting your hips up and your core engaged. Lexi? Yep, so we have two more exercises. One will be the knee lock, so we'll be starting from your knees. It's either for um, beginners, you can just do a walk or a step up, and then you'll be walking side to side to work more on your glutes. And then the next movement would be a bow and arrow on your knees, so you'll be working your quads as well, your glutes, your obliques, and your arms. Okay, Take it away. so last but not the least, we will be doing a donkey kicks to fire hydrant. So basically, that's going down. We're gonna push our legs backwards and then lift our legs to the side. A lot of booty twerking. Right. <laughs> With booty bands. Yeah. Yes. It sounds like a hard workout for a man. <laughs> no, I think for it. everyone. It's a you little bit challenging, you go but through. You, <laughs> you enjoy it after a while. How to be. Oof, had an <gasps> incredible workout with these ladies. Thank you very much for stopping by and showing me your expertise. You're of course, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you for it having us. Yeah. Catch us again next week on How, How to Be You. you. So, nandito ako ngayon para pag-usapan ng ating mga ngiti. Kasi alam naman natin na isa ito sa nagpapaganda sa atin. Kaya naman ngayon, kasama ko ang isa sa pinakamagaling na dentista, Dr. J. Katipon. Hello, Dr. J. Welcome to our show. Magandang umaga, Dayan. Salamat mm -hmm. sa uh, pag-invite po sa akin sa show na to. <laughs> kinakabahan ka. Bakit ka ba kinakabahan? <laughs> okay lang yun, Dr. J. Ako lang to. So, pag-uusapan natin ngayon, di ba? Veneers. Yes. Ah, uh, 
ang veneers kasi alam mo naman yung mga ibang tao gusto nila super white, super maganda. Pwede mo bang i-explain muna sa amin kung ano ba ang veneers? Yes, ang veneers kasi uh, isa itong parang palamuti sa nipin mm -hmm. or uh, to alter kung ano yung what you have uh -oh. sharing nipin to make it more beautiful or aesthetic. Oo nga. So, kasi um, sikat na sikat ngayon na pinag-usapan mm -hmm. talaga. So, ini-specialize mo ito talaga? Yes, uh, we specialize for shop. Uh, and of course, with modern technology, mm -hmm. mas nagiging mas madali ang pagkawa ng veneers ngayon. Mas madali na? Hindi na, di ba dati parang mga 2 hours? Or depende? Yes, uh, depende rin po sa ano yung itsura ng ipin, uh -oh. ano yung kailangang i-repair. Okay. Uh, pag uh, simple lang yung mga procedures, mostly I just do scanning and then send it to the lab and then the veneers will come back to it. Okay. Pero ano ba, parang kunyari, uh, yung model natin ganina nakita ninyo, mm -hmm. di ba? Uh, sa case niya, ano ba ang ano? Ano ba yung una mong ginawang proseso? First kasi I have to check yung bike niya, yung yes. stability ng bike okay. niya. This will, it, ano, will show na uh, kung pwede siya sa veneers. Mm -hmm. Because, pwede naman. Pwede naman. Uh -oh. Pumasa siya sa veneers for... <laughs> Pumasa siya. For, very slightly kasi nawala siya ng mga vital teeth like molars na mm. nag-stabilize sa bike niya. Kasi oh. kung walang stability, may tendency the veneers will just flip out or get ah. broken. Oh. Kasi so walang stability. Yes, very important. Hindi lang para po malamuti kailangan functional oh, oh. also. So kailangan una i-check muna yung ngipin. Kung yes, pwede, kung pwede siya. Kung pwede siya kung pwede siya kung pwede siyang mag-carry mm, ng veneers. Mm, mm. Tapos pangalawa, uh, ano na yung process na gagawin natin? So, pag pumasa siya, uh -oh, pag pumasa, pag pumasa na siya, uh, so start na, kung depende kung wala masyadong babawasan sa ngipin, mm -mm. we go straight for the scanning. Scanning na agad. Scanning na agad. Why scanning? Before kasi, sukat yung ginagawa namin before. Oo, oh, oh, yung parang manual palang. Yes, uh, yung mga flavors, di ba? Oh, Alam mo mga flavors, oh, yung mga... Oh. Mint flavors. <laughs> so, depending on the flavors that you give, there are bubblegum flavors. Because the problem is that it causes distortion or shrinkage of the materials. Ah, okay. So, when you come to the lab, it's different. So, when you come to the patient, it's not a fit. Means, at talagang hindi nag-ano, hindi siya, we call it a fit like a glove, kung tawagin. Oo, oh, oh, kasi nga naman, syempre, isusukat mo lang, isusukat mo lang na parang gloves. So, so, scanning na. So, so, scanning, because of technology, uh -oh. so, yung accuracy is high. 100% um, na. Hindi naman, mga 99%. 0.9% <laughs> only. Hindi siya 100%. Okay. So, kailangan may 1% ano, uh -oh. 0.1% of Sabi errors. Sa bagay mga kapuso, dapat hindi rin talaga tayo perfect masyado. Exactly. <laughs> uh, kundi kundi tapo nila tayo ni Lord. So, uh -oh. <laughs> because of that, uh, the scanning will will eliminate all unnecessary uh, distortions. Uh -oh. So, once na na, na, na print out ang Yung veneers, uh -oh. ang veneers, Pag sinod sa patient, exacto. Exacto na. So, the, the, the clinic time or chair time, yung tawag namin, will be lessened from usually pag, pag hindi fit adjustment. Uh -oh. It will take so, hours. Yun, hours na lang? Hindi na ba ngayon, minutes? Ngayon, minutes na lang po ngayon. Minutes na lang? Po, minutes na lang po. Hala, ang bilis na. <laughs> yeah. So, ang proseso niya, ilang araw na lang kung kunyari, hindi uh, na magte-temporary ano, si client. Magte-temporary? Ah, for now, hindi pa kasi uh, dumarating yung tinatawag na may 3D printing machine. Okay, pero magkakaroon. The 3D printing machine, pag dumating, yes, actually the shipment will come in around a few months from now. Okay. When that happens, uh, within 6 to 8 hours, oh, lalabas na yung kanyang veneers. So, hindi na nga magte-temporary kapag dumaan hindi sa na, Yes, hindi na po. Diretso na. Diretso na po. Ang galing talaga ng technology. Technology, yeah. Technology is coming in oh, fast wow. and it's better to grasp. And then, kung kunyari, dumating na yung ano natin, yung veneers, pag kinabet, yun na ba yun agad? Yes, yun na yun. Konting um, trimming na lang. Actually, the trimming dapat wala na. Oh, um, kasi 99.9%. percent <laughs> Yes, 99.9%. .9. Actually, after the scanning, may tinatawag na mock-up for designing. 
sa computer. Wow. So, i-design na kagad sa computer yung itsura na gusto ng client. So, Ang galing naman yun. Uh, I will receive the email uh, mga few hours from now to show uh, the, my patient ano yung magiging itsura. itsura. Kung gusto niya, pwede alter pwede yung i-alter yung design. So, once na uh, nagkusa na pwede... Tsaka niya kung, oh, bagay ba ito sa mukha Exactly, ko? yes. Tama po kung yun. Kung parabit type ba? O oh, pa square, pa round? Yes. Ang galing. So, yun yung magiging uh, no, oh, oh. technology for that. Ang galing naman dito sa clinic ninyo. Masyado ng high-tech. Yeah. Actually, the, the machines are all provided by Dental System Corporation. Oh, wow. So, I'm yun sure, yun. curious na curious na yung mga kapuso natin nanonood kung saan ba yung clinic niyo, Dr. J. Pwede mo bang sabihin sa kanila kung saan sila pupunta para makapagpachat. Yes, my clinic is located at uh, Chino Roses mm -hmm. in front of Makati Cinema Square Lapit above lang. Mercury Drug. Oo nga. So, ayan mga kapuso ha. Marami tayong natutunan about veneer. So, kung gusto ninyo magpunta na kayo agad dito kay Dr. J. Magbabalik po kami. Alright, maganda gumaga sa inyo lahat. We have with us a special guest, no other than Paolo Balesteros. Hi guys! Yun! So, may nabalita na ako na mahilig nyo sa... Hihipon. Sa hihipon? Yung mga nag-gym? Sorry. Pangit na mukha. Maganda na tawag. Grabe ka! Yan ang ibig sabihin ako. No, hindi yun ang hihilig ko. Mahilig ako dyan. Sa prawns, hihipon. Mukhang maanghang yan, chef, no? Hindi, magluto. Sakto-sakto nga. So yeah, tell us a little bit about Pao. So, ang prep ang inihanda ako para kay Pao. Ako pa, hindi para sa akin. Oo, for me. Lag ka na lang dito eh. So, okay lang. Kaya nyo na lang mula ito. Kasi nyo. Alright. Ako lang ako. Ayan. Anong tawag dito, chef? This is seared prawns and tofu in Cajun sauce. And paired with mango salsa. Ay, akala ko juice to. Sorry. I-blender. Pwede, pwede, pwede. So, ano, ano yung sauce niya? Cajun, uh, Cajun sauce. sauce. Yes. Kasi mahilig din ako magluto eh. Magluto-luto. Oh. Tapos favorite ko niluluto yung mga hipon. Oh, so total pala. <laughs> kasi, yeah. all right, all right. kasi madaling maluto ang hipon. Madali lang siya maluto. Tapos, kahit simpleng luto lang, mm. mukhang parang production number na agad. Yes. Okay. Ituro okay. mo sabi ko paano gawin yan habang okay. pumukuha tayo. Yes. So, what, habang, habang mm. titikman nyo, so ginawa natin dyan is that, uh, yun, sinir lang natin yung ipon mm -hmm. kasama yung tofu. Yan. Tapos set aside natin, gagawin natin yung sauce. Cajun sauce could be paprika, then cayenne, and then um, may ketchup din, and then butter. Tapos ah, may ketchup. May ketchup yeah. din. Yep. Para saan yung ketchup? Yung... Wala lang. Parang mas tangy siya. Mas... Well, it adds yung sweetness niya. Oh, okay. And uh, at the same time, siyempre, yung color niya. Oh. And uh, andun yung parang sour milk flavor. Then you pair it with the uh, mango salsa. Okay. So, fresh yung ano. At mas yun fresh yung gano'n natagal yung searing uh, ng, ng hipon. Normally, inano ko lang siya mga between 20 to 25 seconds lang. Eh. Gano'n ah, sa kabilis. Ah, gano'n ba? Mm -hmm. Kasi pag ano na overcook siya, uh, titigas siya. Okay. Okay. Tignan natin. Oh, gusto ko na yung tofu. Tofu. Yan. Tapos yung color din is yung mostly paprika. So, medyo spiciness. Oh, wow. So, kamusta naman ang hipon natin? Masarap siya. Masarap ang hipon mo. Malag. Tinutan mo ba yung ng ano? Ng... Meron ba itong parang flour or something? May flour siya. Masarap. So, yung breading niya, parang pinabay mo lang yung flour plus the paprika. Wow. And some salt. Parang taste. Masarap. Take mo mo kaya. Di ba nito mo ito? Ito yung sa inyo. Natry mo na. Kanina pa. Alam. Wait, so ito, ano ang mangyayari dito? Yan yung partner niya. Ay, okay. Yan. Ito gumagamit na service. Ano ang ginagawa lang niya? Sarap ah. Thank you. Ito ang natin siya. That's good. Chef, ikaw na. Kaling mo naman. Pablo, thank you ah. Wow! Kalat, kalat mo. Tinakamay talaga ang hipo. Kaya nga iniiwan yung... It's like the bun. It's nice to eat. That's what you're going to do. Let's take a look. You're going to eat it. It's like the bun. It's like the bun. It's like the bun. Thank you for the bun. Thank you, Pao. Thank you for the bun. 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 
Wala ka anin, no? Puro protein. Mahilig ka rin sa protein, no? Thank you guys. Alright. Thank you again. Chef, you're the best. Always. Alright, take home na. Hi guys, so thank you again for tuning in. Follow, marami marami. Salamat, chef. You're the best. Thank you so much. Tune in again next week for another episode of How to Be You. Isa na namang squad adventure yung inyong na tunghayan. And once again, we met some incredible people who were successful in their field. And of course, guys, please, please do catch us again next week for a super fun-filled adventure, as always, with food and everything you can imagine, only here on How, How to, to Be You! Be you.